Studies have shown that a good night's sleep is essential for children to grow properly. But around 15% of young people have trouble falling asleep, and even more of them wake up in the middle of the night. This can affect their development negatively and lead to other sleep-related problems as they grow up. Lack of sleep has a variety of consequences, including difficulty concentrating, obesity, crankiness, and troubles at school. Some parents may be tempted to offer their children supplements such as melatonin gummies during such restless nights. These gummies combine the natural sleep hormone with sugar-free flavors. In this video, we review if melatonin is safe for kids. How does melatonin work? You should know about sleep cycles before you think about giving your child dietary supplements to help them sleep. Melatonin is a hormone that regulates the body's circadian rhythm, also known as the internal clock, and signals the time for sleep. The circadian rhythm is an internal pattern that repeats approximately every 24 hours and can be reset by exposure to light and dark. The melatonin hormone is released in the evening, and the hormone stays active till morning. When you need to wake up, melatonin stops working in the morning. This process of maintaining a regular sleep-wake pattern may be disrupted in children, as children have shorter sleeping periods than adults. The supplement melatonin is a synthetic form of natural melatonin. It can be found in various forms, including gummies, pills, liquids, or tablets. The supplement will typically make kids, or adults, tired within half an hour. Although it is available over-the-counter, the FDA still recommends consulting a doctor before use. These supplements may be used to treat autism, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, and other neurodevelopmental disorders in children. But should parents give these supplements to improve sleep for kids having trouble sleeping? Next, let us ask the following question, is melatonin bad for kids? Melatonin gummies are popular among parents, but just because they come in candy form doesn't mean they're safe for kids. There is not enough research on how melatonin interacts with children, so we can't make any assumptions about their safety or effectiveness. Some doctors say low doses of melatonin can be safe for children, but there are no long-term studies on the safety of taking any dose. Too much melatonin can mess up your baby's sleep cycle. The correct dosage is not certain. Children may have side effects from taking melatonin, including headaches, nausea, sweating, dizziness, bedwetting, and drowsiness in the morning. It is crucial to know that the FDA has not approved melatonin for children. Next, let us find out the safe melatonin dosage for kids. Before giving children melatonin supplements, talk to their doctor about it. They can advise whether the supplement is necessary and tell you about the dosage and timing. The most common dosage for 4 to 6 year old kids is 1 to 2 mg. The most common dose for kids aged 6 to 12 years is 2 to 3 mg. Melatonin should be used along with other behavioral therapies. It should be used for as short a time as possible. Because melatonin can mess up a kid's sleep schedule, you should never give it to kids at the wrong time. Furthermore, although the melatonin supplement helps children fall asleep, it may not help them stay asleep. So, what is the best way to help kids sleep? The best way to help kids sleep is by providing them a healthy sleep environment rather than relying on melatonin supplements. If your child has trouble sleeping, it may be due to worry, poor sleep hygiene, or other factors. Identifying the root cause can help you find an effective solution. Going to bed at the same time every day can help regulate a child's internal clock. Set up a nightly routine for your child. Involve your child in the process of getting to sleep. For example, read a story before putting your child down for the night. Turn off technology an hour before you sleep, light suppresses melatonin. Get your child to sleep well. Aim to get them to sleep 10 to 12 hours every night. It's best to use natural remedies before resorting to gummy, chewable, 
capsule, or liquid melatonin for kids. However, if this continues, talk to your doctor for the next steps. Experts agree that children should not take melatonin supplements without a doctor's prescription they also warn that using the supplement in place of good sleep habits is not the best option. Content of this video is for informational purposes only and not to be substituted for professional medical advice. Please like, comment, and share this video and subscribe to our channel for more such content.